What's up everyone? My name is Josue. Welcome back to La Vida Josue. Today we're making enchiladas deliciosas, but we're gonna make them in the slow cooker because that chicken's about to be tender as fuck. But as per you, it's just gonna be packed with flavor and oh my god, they're gonna be delicious and I'm gonna show you how to make them right now. Now to make these enchiladas, we gotta make sure we prep the slow cooker, right? Because we need all those flavors to seep into that chicken. So when the enchiladas are ready and you take a bite, it's just gonna be ah, out of this world. So we gotta take a few more steps to make sure we get that done. All right, so in order to start this little salsa slash marinade, pretty much what we're gonna put in the slow cooker, we're gonna use a couple of dried chiles so we can get some flavor. I'm using four chiles guajillos and I'm using two chile de árbol. Now be careful with the chile de árbol because this is a spicy chile, it's a spicy pepper. It's gonna add some heat to whatever you put them in, but I'm not looking for the spice, I'm just looking for the flavor. So I'm gonna take my chiles, I'm gonna cut them in half, open them up, devein them, and take the seeds out. Now that my chiles are all nice and clean, no seeds, no veins, it's time to put them in the hot water. Now take note, all we're trying to do is just rehydrate hydrate these chiles so they're not going to be in there very long maybe like three minutes max the water doesn't necessarily have to be boiling just a little steamy after a few minutes you can tell that they're done because they kind of get all soft on you <laughs> and the water in the pot should turn like a orangey color it'll start to change colors because the, the color of the pepper kind of seeps in the water go ahead and take them out and this is what we're left with so those are the chiles time to blend first we add all the chiles quarter white onion about three cloves of garlic two Roma tomatoes cut in half or in quarters. Next we season salt and pepper, ground cumin, and chicken bouillon flavoring or powder. Super important to not forget this. This is like the most important thing because this is going to give this little sauce here great flavor. This is the kind that I use. You can usually find this at any local grocery store. The reserved water from where the chiles were cooking. Just fill that just enough to cover the tomatoes. And now we blend. Look at this, okay, man, this is sabor, which means flavor in Spanish. All right, so moving on to the slow cooker, before we add the chicken, there's a couple of things we wanna do. First, we wanna go ahead and add in our mixture. Look at that, Woo, look at that color. Then we're gonna add two cups of chicken broth. Now I got the reduced sodium because I couldn't find the no sodium today. If you can get the no sodium, go ahead and get that. That way you can control the salt content that goes into the sauce. Take a whisk, whisk all that up together. This is nothing but flavor. I'm using three chicken breasts that I'm gonna go ahead and just lay in this. I cut some holes in the chicken so that sauce can motherfucking penetrate. Go ahead and lay your chicken in the cooker. Make sure it's all covered. See that? Perfect amount of sauce. Now that the chicken is pretty much submerged in the sauce, we're gonna add three bay leaves. Turn on the slow cooker to high. And if you don't already know the slow cooker rule, so if you do it on high, it's like four to six hours. If you do it on low, it's like six to eight hours. I'm hoping for that four hours because it's getting kind of late. So now we wait. All right, so we're done with hour one. So we're taking the lid off, just gonna check. Good God, that smells good. Just taking a peep in here. Seeing how everything's looking. It's a slow cooker, it takes time. Hour two is up and we got some bubbles going here. Oh man, it smells awesome in here. Just looking at the chicken breast. Yo, this chicken is kind of thick. And it's hour three. Ooh, that's kind of hot now. Ooh, that's really hot actually. Looking good. All right, let's shred it up. So as per usual, we're gonna take two forks so we can shred this apart. Now check this out though. You can definitely tell that where I made those little slits, the juice was able to, you know, go inside the chicken, penetrate, I guess is the, the best word to use. So we know that that flavor is gonna be inside. All right, let's get to it. And it's always best to use these two forks because you can see the shreds here as I'm shredding it. You kind of get these little fine shreds here. That's what we want. And there we go, chicken is shredded, ready to go back into the slow cooker. I'm telling you, one of these days I'll have a kitchen where you guys can face me and I can be on some uh, Andrew Ray shit. But for now, this is perfectly just fine. Come on, chicken. Let's make sure this is all nice and incorporated. And it's hour four, so whoa, steamy, son. Look at this chicken, juicy, nice and tender, super soft. 
let's make some enchiladas all right so in order to start building my enchiladas i've created this little workstation here so i'm using regular old flour tortillas i'm using the store-bought canned enchilada sauce that is perfectly fine with me i honestly i think it tastes good it's easy it's simple and i'll save you some time so stick with that i'm using a queso quesadilla cheese which is uh, pretty much like a quesadilla melty cheese you can use pepper jack monterey whatever cheese you like to use that's what i'm using today i got a glass baking pan that i used some olive oil spray on this so this is our station let's go ahead and build one i'm going to show you how to do a couple first thing we want to do of course because they're enchiladas we want to put a little bit of sauce in the bottom of the pan here not too much just like a little layer spread that around make sure it gets all nice and evenly coated on the bottom there all right so very easy pretty much we just want to take a little bit of the chicken want to put it right there in the center now this is a pro because the chicken is still hot because i just took it out of the slow cooker so it's going to help melt the cheese inside the enchilada even quicker then we want to take a little bit layer of the cheese so sometimes i just kind of like to fold it like that just to kind of align everything and then you just fold over tuck everything in and just roll it all the way as tight as you can until you have this little open-ended rolled taco then we place the enchilada in the pan like so Now we got six beautiful enchiladas here in the pan. So now it's time to layer up. First, we just hit it with a light layer of cheese. Then I come in with a little bit more of the enchilada sauce. Do like a little zigzag here. Then I go a little extra on the cheese. Make sure you get the edges. One more layer of sauce. And one last sprinkling of cheese. I preheated the oven to 350 degrees and we're gonna put these enchiladas in for 15 minutes. While the enchiladas are in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and take this time to cut up some jalapenos into little slices because I'm gonna put these little slices on top of the enchiladas. So I'm just taking jalapenos, I'm putting them in the pan with a little bit of olive oil. So I'll take them up with a little bit of salt, pepper, and oregano. So 15 minutes is up. This is what the enchiladas look like. We're gonna go ahead and hit it with another layer of cheese. Then we're gonna start placing the jalapenos on the enchiladas, about two or three per enchilada. So now our enchiladas got more cheese on top. The jalapenos are on top. Again, that's a personal thing for me because I like spice and jalapenos. You don't gotta do this. You can skip this step. This is just how I like to do it. We're gonna put these back in the oven for about 10 more minutes and then we're gonna hit it with the broiler. Oh my Lord. Look at that nice, delicious, brown, bubbly cheese there. a little messy jalapenos kind of fell to the side it's all good delicious and that's how you make slow cooker shredded chicken enchiladas simple right so as per usual if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up follow me over on instagram because i'm sharing a bunch of cool stuff over there as well all of my social media is down in the description box below hit the bell so you're notified the next time that i post a video if you want to see more food review videos and recipe videos i got a bunch of videos coming so you want to make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of them i'm Luis josue i'll see you guys in the next video peace <laughs> holy sh what the f was that but as per usual, but as per usual, packed with flavors. So check it out. I'm gonna show you how to make them right now.